What is up, Flock? Thanks for here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 mod spot. This is where we check out some cool mods. You guys, my thoughts and opinions, I'll leave them link down in the description down below so you two can go down them if you are interested. Now, we have a wide mix of stuff here today, and scaling what, what what's scaling? It's just kind of all over the place at this point. I mean, look at these two. <laughs> these. <laughs> These are two Corvettes sitting next to each other, and one is like, look at that. It's like a Hot Wheels next to one of them, you know, them cars that you that had like at the drugstores where you pull it back to, and then let go and take off. That's what it looks like. Uh, and this, I don't know why the blinkers are on, but we're starting here. The blinkers should stay on. Well, that we're all third grade starting. Yes, we are dressed like a firefighter. Customize. So we have the standard engine. We have the 3.3 liter V6 for extra 18 horsepower. Oh, a whole hell of a lot more speed. 74 miles per hour, 136 miles per hour. All right, with or without trailer hitch, we'll do. We'll do with the trailer hitch. Wait, that doesn't. Oh, it does show up. It is off-centered? What in the... Oh, wait. That's not the hitch. So where's... The... Okay, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to guess it's supposed to... Yeah, look better in black. All right. Customize. What we didn't do... We did not buy our test trailers. So we do have some pickups. So let's get... One gooseneck and wait, uh, one bumper pull. All right. So here's our and blinker's still on. I don't know. Dude, no, the spotlights don't move at all. Okay. But you have. You can barely see it. Like the push bar lights and the light bar lights. You have to be really looking at it to see it lit up. It's unfortunate. Alright, let's see if... It does have a hitch, but it doesn't show up. Okay, what's the interior look like? Actually, not bad. Does it have... Yep, okay. Oh, it has multiple irons. Very nice. Horn. Oh, God. I'm waiting to get that top speed of 136, though. Oh, we're almost there. I feel like this thing, um, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. I'm give it a 3 out of 5 because it does, I mean, it does have interior. Overall, it does look good, but there's a few things. We have, we have reverse lights, we have brake lights, we have turn signals. I, I don't get it. And then light lights, and you have all the lights. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It, I mean, it, overall, it does look great. It's just there's some definite issues with here. I'm, I don't know what they were trying to do there, but the the blinkers stay blinking. <laughs> I don't even think they're they're. I don't think they're supposed to be blinkers. Maybe, maybe that's supposed to be part of the lighting, and it just doesn't work. Cause I mean, underneath it's blue. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, the lights. This is my biggest issue. Everybody's like, "Are you gonna plan, are you gonna do fire fire stuff in 22?" No, because you see how crappy this these lights look compared to 17. That's why, I, like, that's my biggest argument for not jumping to 22 because it looks like crap. Um, and that's not nothing against the monitor. That's just how the lights are these in in 1922. And, 22. Um, and the hitch doesn't show up. So for that, we'll give it a three out of five. And let's move on to the next. I gotta go over here. Okay. So next up we have we'll have big boy Corvette. 
this is my favorite looking Corvette. Uh, I don't, I don't particularly care for the newer buy style. This is like a 2000, like late 2000s Corvette. I already tell you, I don't like this. I already tell you. All right, let's see what we can do. Automatic L. Excuse me, L7, manual L7, tuned L7, do tuned wing. No, no, we won't do it. I feel like yellow is iconic. Yellow is an iconic Corvette color. Am I wrong? I don't know what this changed. Oh, it looks like the seats. Yeah, so it changes like the outline of the seats. All right. There we go. It. The, maybe it's just the rims. We have all the lights. We have reverse lights, brake lights, turn signals. Yep. Horn. Open cover. Oh, that's cool. Park in your garage and cover it up. Or park it out somewhere you want to park it. This is those 201, let's see. Interior looked really nice. Yum. I think we're running out of room. Oy. I'll say it gets to it gets to 201. We just don't have the space here. All right. I actually like this. I just, I don't know if it's too big or the other one's too small. I don't know. Feel free to tell me, is this too big? This one might be too big, the other one might be a little too small. Uh, feel free to tell me. I do like it though. Um, I think it's just the rim stone. For some reason, the, the wheel speed doesn't look like it matches the actual speed. It could just be the rims playing tricks with my mind. Uh, again, feel free to let me know. Uh, but I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It does look good. It works. The only real complaint I have is uh, the fact that, again, it could just be me. That the rims, for some reason, don't they, they don't look like they move with, with the V... I don't know how to describe it. It just looks like it doesn't look like the rims are moving at the speed they're supposed to. If that makes any sense. Um, but everything else, it does look good. I feel like the color, interior color, was unnecessary. What I would love to have seen, um, because I think this is a thing for this year or this model uh, Corvette, is having the body color one and then this top color be a different color. Because I feel like I've seen these in yellow with the black top. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that would have been a cool option if that is the case. I, I don't know much about cars, to be 100% honest. This actually might be a little big, but it is what it is. All right, move on to next. And we are doing the other Corvette now. Yeah, this one might be a little small. Like, my head's sticking through. Yeah, this one's definitely a little small. We'll test it anyway. Customize. Into setup LT2 drag tune. We'll do drag tune. What's the difference? 495 horsepower, 211 miles per hour. As a thousand horsepower, sure, why not? Uh, wheel up stock one, stock two, apex, workmeister M1R, M1 drag stock. I like the stock ones best. Uh, chrome logo, black logo. Is that on the front? Yeah. 
We'll do chrome logo. Uh, main color. I feel like we'll go with safety yellow. No, no, no. Um, I feel like we'll go yellow again. Design color. What's this change? Oh! Oh, let's throw some black racing stripes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interior color. I'll make that yellow too. Brake color. Make those red. Rim color. We'll make those. We'll make those black. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Alright, customize. We have our lights. Reverse lights, brake lights, turn signals, horn. Yep. Tear. Not bad. This thing, oh my god. Why? Why? Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> oh. I, I bet I lost. Oh. This thing takes off. So wait, what's the top speed? Because it said it was 211. Oh my god. 400. 448 miles per hour. Jesus! Alright. I can't stop. Jeez. Just pop out. Um. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Simply because it is so small. Like, I feel like usually I don't take out for scale, but this is incredibly small compared to the other stuff. I mean, these two alone. And this, again, this one. Definitely feels a little bit too big, but this one is definitely too small. Again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but look at just look at the two next side by side. Like that is yikes. So we'll take this one. Off. We'll take just, uh, one star off for, for it because it is so small and it feels like it's missing some. Like, there should be like a screen texture at least, like in this one here. Something like that, just to kind of break, break up the blackness and that texture on the dat of the gauges look a little, little pixelated. So, give it a four out of five. Let's move on to the next, and that is this GMC here. We're just banging these out. Holy crap! See, see that's got it. Nice little screen in it. So it's in reverse. Don't work, babe. Alright, now, what? Oh, we parked on top of it. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? What? F-156 Duramax. Alright, wheel set up stock. Hostiles, American Force. 2020 Denali Ridge Graps. Stock Mud Graps. Stock. I like the high country rims. We'll go with high country rims. Front bumper, chrome with plastic. Chrome with paint. Paint with plastic. Paint with white. Brush guard. Yeah, I think. Ooh, that ranch hand's actually a pretty nice look. We're going high country, so we just want stock. We'll do the stock. Chrome with plastic. Uh, rear bumper, chrome with plastic again. Uh, mirrors, chrome with plastic, chrome with paint, paint with plastic, paint with paint. We'll do chrome with plastic again. Grill, chrome, paint, chrome. Do chrome. Step, stock, removed. 
to remove LED color amber white to amber uh, window tent yeah we want them tan we don't want them seeing what we're doing in here uh, toolboxes and back racks magnum rack back rack weather guard every every truck should come with this just saying cam locker um let's just do the weather guard toolbox I like that look attachers drop with gooseneck uh, you only have that option all right roof none go light whip whip okay yeah we don't want any of that and color <sighs> yeah yeah customize <clears throat> sorry all right sold this is due The, oh, the pitch. Okay, let's have just so we can test this out real quick. That works. lights yep brake lights turn signals the turn signals don't flash what I guess you can do this This one's doing it too. It just—it feels like the rims aren't spinning as fast as they should be. Is it just me? Hey, look at that. It could just be me. It feels like it's turning a whole lot slower than what it should. Be. But it does reach 74. I did not like that little bump there. I'll give it a five out of five. Uh, even though there is some minor issues, one the sound I hate it. Um, it just doesn't. I don't know why. It just it's the it's like the whoa 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 whoa. I don't know. It, it's kind of annoying. I, there's other trucks that use that sound file, and it just it doesn't seem like it loops smoothly. If that makes any sense? Like there is. There's clear, you can clearly hear the loop, if that makes any sense. I don't know. It's just me being nitpicking. Um, again, with the rims, they just kind of, I don't know. It just feels like they're not spinning as fast as they're supposed to. Could just be me. Could just be me. Um, but my main problem with it is the, the blinkers. The blinkers not flashing. Like, they, they definitely light up, but they don't flash. So you can... Hit the button yourself to make them flash, but they don't flash. So we'll give it a 5 out of 5, but uh, yeah, it definitely has its problems. All right. Uh, how much time are we at? We're at 18 minutes. We might be able to get these two done. All right. So we have a F550 dump truck. What size is th this thing? I mean, they're about the same. Yeah. Okay. Customize tailgate gate no gate put the gate on it Tadger's re tri ball panel we'll do the tri ball uh, I like the watch I, I don't know why from work trucks I like white I kinda wish they had a wheel off color option make them white ah why you these people and these bulbs Man, they're going to drive me absolutely bonkers. Does this thing have... No, it doesn't have... Alright, 
So we have light. That means we have blinkers. We don't have blinkers. We do have reverse lights. We do have brake lights. Tears not bad. Let's see, is the hook up here? It does. I do want to put down container. Where is my underground storage? It's under silo, isn't it? Yeah. And we scroll all the way to the end. I think. Maybe. Where? There it is. Pump that right there. Let's fill this up. This little wheat. There we go. Dump. She does dump it to crump it. This fill, but we're not getting a fill trigger. Let's see if we empty this all out, does it fill? No, can't get the fill. That's unfortunate. Dude, it does have ratchet straps. I have these lights here at the top of the dump bed that do nothing. Looks like the same with at the top of the, the tailgate. They don't do anything. So this one I'm gonna give a four out of five as well. Uh, first off, the lights. I hate, you guys know me, I hate when they have to only the light bulbs light up. I mean, yes, the light bulbs are the only part of a headlight that lights up, but you have all those reflective surfaces around it that make it look like the entire um, lights lighting up. So like this makes sense. Okay, this makes sense. This, however, does not. It just it just doesn't make any sense. So, modders, can we can we please stop doing this? All right. Secondly, we have lights here that do nothing, and then we have lights back here that do nothing. Um, and I, you know, I that'd be cool if they had like some beacons on it or something. Um, and then the blinkers just straight up don't work. So we'll give it a four out of five for that, and we'll move on. And we'll make this one our last one. We'll cover the other ones next week. So we have another bird. This is an older one, right? There's some dirty traffic on. There's some tall traffic on. Sheesh, Louise. Alright, what can we do with this thing? Uh, we have bone stock, smoked stock, Harley. Hardly headlights, clear lights, LED, aftermarket. I feel like if it's going to be a work truck, we're going to do bone stock. Mirror, LED, amber, white. Yeah, no, amber. Cab lights, LED color, white. No, definitely amber. Hood stock. Uh, yeah, we'll just do... <laughs> I'm boring, all right? I like stock. Front bumper, chrome, colored. Now, see, now, ranch hand, definitely on this one for sure. Look at that. It looks amazing. Mirrors, chrome, painted, chrome. Uh, grill, chrome, colored. I kind of wish we could make it like the plastic look. Door handles, chrome, colored. I guess 
chrome. Plate, none, go light. What is the fascination with those things? Exhaust, five inch black tip. Axle dump. Let's do an axle dump. Because why not? Blue? Ooh. You know, I feel like, again, once again, we have to do the white on white. Emblem color, blue. That's the only color it's meant to be. Aha! See? These are all lit up. Oh, I love it. And all those lights are lit up. We reverse it. We have reverse lights. We have brake, we have brake lights. We, have... we don't have turn signals again? What? Why? I don't get it, man. It works. I don't know what that does. I'm not seeing anything change. Nice and quiet in here. Horn. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Does it eighty three? I guess I'll give this one a 5 out of 5, but I'm really bummed it doesn't have have turn signals. Like, that really bummed me out. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you don't include them. Like, this is... So, definitely, uh, turn signals must it has to have. Secondly, I would love to have, like, the way to make this... Uh, is this your hat? I'm pretty sure this your did. Where you can make that black instead of chrome to be like a work truck. That'd be great. Um, we do have ratchet straps back here too. Nice. Uh, and I'd love to be able to toggle this stuff on and off. Maybe like get a... a, a uh, uh, why, why can't I think of it? Fuel, uh, fuel tank. What's the transfer tank? My, I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, but I would love to have like that option or something like that. Because it is a nice looking work truck. But that will do it for today's Mod Spotlight, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's Mod Spotlight, be sure to leave a like down below. It's helped me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see Future Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to know if I want to do a live upload video, click that notification bell. And as always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.